Abyssinian, Abyssinian oil. That's my best guess. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got my August Ipsy bag here for you today. So as usual, I've gone ahead and opened up this bag and I've tried out everything except for one product in here. So I'll be able to give you some little mini reviews on most of these products and just tell you what I think about this bag overall. So let's jump into it. Okay, so the theme this month is Sugar Highness. So there is the card there. It says, live that fantasy. Pop the champagne cans, deck yourself in ring pops, get gorgeously glammed up, and dip into everyday decadence. Gone wildly galore. So very cute theme as always. I think they do a really good job with their like themes every month. It's just really fun. When I opened up this bag this month and saw this, Oh my gosh, I told Timothy, I was like, this might be my favorite bag they've ever done. It just looks artsy and creative. Like she's like putting on her makeup and it almost looks like her like makeup products are her hair accessory as well. <laughs> and I like the shape of the bag. Like it's just fun. The back of it's plain, but it feels like nice quality and I love the color pattern to it. So I just love this bag. I don't know why I love it so much, but it's artsy and creative and girly. So all things that I love. So the thing that I have not tried this month is this hair care product. This is the It Hair Care 12 in 1 Amazing Leave-In Treatment. It says repairs, protects, strengthens with our exclusive, I was trying to read this word, Ab Abyssinian? Abyssinian oil? That's my best guess. 12 amazing benefits. It says repairs dry, damaged hair, protects from split ends and breakage, shiny and healthy hair, transforms frizz to silk, maximum heat protection, seals and protects hair, removes tangles, restores natural body, Abyssinian, Abyssinian, Abyssinian oil for silky hair, infused with silk amino acids, protects your color, transforms brittle hair. So it says apply a pea-sized amount, and they have that in like larger font, like don't use too much, I guess, into the palm of hand and work evenly throughout damp hair, air dry, or style. So let's smell this. Ooh, it smells good. It smells like clean and a little bit fruity. Mmm, I like that. Yeah, that smells really nice. Um, sounds a lot like it's a tin to me, honestly. Let's see about the texture. I have a fuzzy on me. Oh no, I have like mascara on me. <gasps> I've probably had that the whole time. Whoopsie. Okay, so yeah, that feels nice. Like it probably wouldn't be heavy in the hair. So I'm excited about that. I just totally forgot to use it. So I will try it out and let y'all know, but um, I don't know. Like I feel like there's not a lot of hair care products that really stand out to me that, I, that I'm like, oh my gosh, I love this so much. There's maybe like three that I feel really strongly about, maybe five. So I'll probably like this, but I don't know that I'm gonna be like blown away by, by it because I don't always notice like a huge difference with leave-in treatments like this, but we'll see. Maybe I'll really love it. I will let you know. There's this little guy in here. This is the Winky Lux says diamond powders are a girl's best friend and this is in light it says this foundation powder contains genuine crushed diamonds for the ultimate coverage and glow so i've tried this a couple of times first off i tried kind of like setting the outsides of my face with it and i really liked it that way today i tried to use it to kind of set my under eyes and i did not like it that way because it was um it had too much glow and it kind of like accentuated my pores and I just didn't like it in that area. But um, I don't like a lot of glow there because I'm already kind of oily, especially in my T-zone. So I don't need diamonds to give me a glow and whatever. I've, I've already got my oil to do that. <laughs> so here's what it looks like. It's got great coverage, um, a nice texture to it. Like it's, you know, feels kind of like silky feeling so I do like this and it seems like it has pretty good coverage I was wearing it over foundations um, just because I don't typically use a lot of powder foundations by themselves but I could see people using this and like it because it seems like it has really nice coverage it does have a glow to it but for me personally I only like it kind of on the outsides of my face not in my t-zone I got a nail polish and it's the nail polish that I'm wearing today that I did not apply so perfectly but at least you can see the color <laughs> This is the Ciate London, and this is in, I guess, Spinning Teacup, I guess, is that the color? Spinning Teacup? Yep, Spinning Teacup. 
I don't think I've ever had a Ciate London nail polish, I don't think. Um, cause I don't remember this kind of like shape of a bottle, but I really love the color of it. It applied really evenly. It was really nice. I really like the long handle on it. Like it made it really easy to use. Um, my brush did come like bent and wonky, but as I used it, it kind of straightened out a little bit, but you're probably not even going to be able to see that, but it's just, it's kind of a little bit funky and bent. So it was kind of a little bit of maneuvering to get it to work right. But it started to kind of like get its shape back as I was using it. So I really like this. I think this is great. I know that this is a higher end brand, so I love that I got a nail polish from them. And to me, it looks like it's a full size. So this is definitely a great product to get in here. Then I got a mascara. This is the Tarte Tardis Lash Paint. First off, I love the little packaging on it. It looks like little like splattered paint, super cute. So I did use this on my lashes today and I loved how it made my lashes look like it separated them really nicely, but made them look really black and it built on itself really nicely. So I was really liking this, but then I went to do my hair and I came back and I noticed it was already smudging. Like within 30 minutes, it was already smudging on my like upper eyelid. So, you know, not everybody has that sort of issue. I'm like the mascara smudging queen, like everything smudges pretty much on my eyelid, so this one seems like it's like gonna do it really badly. Um, so what I did is I put another mascara over it to kind of help seal it, because I, I would have probably already have it all over my eyelids at this point. So I would say if you don't have the smudging problem like I do, then I would definitely try this, because it really did like build, look nice, really like made intense looking lashes, which I love, dramatic looking lashes. But if you have a smudging issue, I would not recommend this because it was pretty immediate that it did it. And last I got a bronzer. This is the Pacifica Sun Dreams Lotus Infused Bronzer. And it says Sunkissed, so I'm guessing Sunkissed is the shade. And it says it's available exclusively at Ulta. And then there was a little coupon on the back, so that's nice. Cute little packaging on it. It's got like a little unicorn really cute. So I do have this kind of blended into my crease on my eyes today. Um, but I don't have it on my face. I tried it on my face yesterday and I really like it. Like it's a really pretty kind of glowy bronzer and it's really kind of like mid tone. So it's got a little bit of warmth to it, but then a little bit of like just a mid tone. It's not, I wouldn't call it cool tone, but it's not super orangey. It's like one of those colors that I think you could, um, really like contour with it. I think you could bronze up your face with it. It blended nicely into the skin. So I really do like this. I think this is a very nice bronzer. I'm a fan of it. Pacifica has great ingredients. It's a more natural brand. So I love that too. So yeah, I'm excited about this. Okay guys, so that is everything that I got in my bag this month. So I would say overall, I think it was a good bag. I'm really happy with it. Not my absolute favorite, but still a really good one. Um, my standouts would be the bronzer from Pacifica, the nail polish, and then just the bag. Like, I love the stinking bag this month. I think it's so cute. So yeah, I'm still excited about it. I always enjoy getting Ipsy. I always get excited about it. It's $10 a month. I will leave my link down below. No pressure whatsoever to use my link, but if you do, thank you so much. I would love to know what you got in your bag this month. What was your favorite item that you got? Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.